So what's good, y'all? We back with another video. And as y'all can see by the title, we are going to be talking about the former All-Star, the new Brooklyn Nut, Ben Simmons. And with the season basically being right here, as the season starts on Tuesday, I just want to talk more about his true role with this Nets team. Because if you want to take steps back and look at Ben Simmons' career, what has been so far, going into his career when he first started... A lot of people thought this guy's going to be a future first option, future superstar. And so far, we've come to find out that's just not what he is. You know, the hype was there. People were expecting it on the Sixers. The Philly fans were rallying around this man for him to become this next big thing. But he just never was that, you know. And I think it's time that we start accepting Ben Simmons for what he is. Now, am I the biggest Ben Simmons fan? No, not really. But I'm, I am willing to accept what Ben Simmons is in 2022, going into 2023. He is never going to be a superstar. And that's no knock on him. He's just not. Will he make an all-star team again? Maybe. Who knows? You know, I'm not going to say he can't. But he'll never be that guy. And I think on the Brooklyn Nets, he is finally in his true role. In Philadelphia, people were expecting him to be the co-star to Joel Embiid, a guy that can average 20, 8, and 8. And, you know, we were expecting him to get better as a shooter and or at least attempt jump shots, and that just wasn't happening. But with the Brooklyn Nets, he's finally in the best role for him because you got Kevin Durant, who was the best scorer in the league, in my opinion. You got Kyrie Irving, who is the best scoring point guard, in my opinion. And then you got Ben Simmons, who's going to just do what he got to do. On offense, he's going to play make, he's going to set screens, and that's pretty much it, you know? He'll get his little garbage points, he'll get like, you know, 15, 14 points per game. I'm not expecting much out of him offensively like that, but that's who he is, and I think it's time we accept that. I think way too many times in previous years, especially like, you know, in 2021 when he was choking with the Wizards and the Hawks, even though that was a horrible performance, don't get me wrong, he was shook. But people were getting on him because they wanted him to be this affirmative, confident, aggressive second option, and he wasn't being that guy. With the Nets, he can take a step back and do the small things to contribute to a Nets team that's looking to hopefully win a championship. So offensively, that's not what you're going to get from him. You're not going to get 20 points per game. You're not going to get a guy that's going to shoot 40% from three or any of that. He's not even going to shoot 10% from three, to be honest, but he's going to do the little things to help the team out, I should expect. You know, more like a Draymond Green type of role. And I know some people hate when they say, oh, just, you know, be a Draymond Green because Draymond Green's job isn't easy either. Yeah, Draymond doesn't score 15 points per game, but he does a whole bunch of other things on offense that help the Warriors big time. And I think Ben Simmons can kind of do that with this Nets team maybe not to the same degree because there's no Steph Curry and you know the, the system that they play in but I think Ben Simmons can kind of do those small things to help the team out offensively speaking and defensively that's where you're going to get the true value of Ben Simmons because in my opinion I still think Ben Simmons is the best defensive player in the league for him to be 6'10 and be able to guard one through five I think that's a special thing for him to do that's his one special attribute i mean he could pass like crazy but he is an elite defender like i'm talking about top tier like he's in that first tier top three defender in the league kind of category and i think that's what helped the nets out the most i do have my questions because nick claxton and ben simmons defensively should help the nets better you know get better compared to last season where they kind of struggled but offensively, I do have my questions with those two guys being in a front court together because neither of them can shoot at a high level at all. But like I said, defensively, that's where you're going to get Ben Simmons' true value. And that's what you should expect. I mean, if you're a Nets fan, you shouldn't expect much out of Ben Simmons like that. You should just want him to be a guy that's going to give you a stat line of like 13, 14 points per game, 7, 8 rebounds, 6, 7 assists. And shoot over 50% because he's going to get all his points around the rim. That's what you should expect. Because in all honesty, 
the label of Ben Simmons being this elite premier player, they need to take it away from him. It's just the truth, to be honest. Some people may disagree and say that he's still this guy, but he's not. He is like the superstar role player. That's what he is. He is a superstar version of a role player. He's not a true superstar, a guy that's going to be a first option on a championship team, but he is going to be the best or one of the best at doing the little things. So if I'm a Nets fan, I'm interested to see what he does. I'm excited if I'm a Nets fan to see what he can do. Obviously, there's a lot of questions. Will he attempt to even shoot jump shots? I'm not even asking for threes. I'm saying mid-range, you know, low post, fadeaways, something. We'll see. But I think it's time for us to chill out on Ben Simmons a little. I know that the memes are funny. The jokes are funny. But I think you'll have a little solid year. You know, I think you have a pretty good year for this net squad because the pressure isn't haunting him. The pressure is on Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Steve Nash, even though he doesn't play. Steve Nash got pressure on him this year as well. So if I'm Ben Simmons, it's just go out there and play basketball. That's it. You know, the pressure shouldn't be on him to be this second option like it was in Philly. They got the scores that they need in Brooklyn. He just needs to go out there and be what he is great at, which is one of the best playmakers in the league and one of the best defenders in the league. And if he can do that like he should be able to, there's no reason why the Nets shouldn't be a better basketball team compared to last season. Now in the playoffs, there are things to watch for Ben Simmons. Will teams hack him like they did when he was in the playoffs last time, sending him to the line? You know, what happens with the other team's defense? How much pressure do they put on him? Do they even guard him like that at all? You know, what happens there? We'll see. Because the playoffs are a different story. But as for the regular season, I think Ben Simmons should have a bounce back here. Will he be an all-star consideration? Maybe. Maybe, who knows? You know, I, I could see him being an all-star reserve. He ca he's capable of doing it. It's just now, can he be mentally strong enough to put it all together, block out the noise, and just go out there and contribute for a team that has championship aspirations this upcoming season? Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Link will be down in the description below. This has been a checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.